Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome to our Motivation USA Brief Unboxing, where you can buy anything, everything premium for your motorcycle. In this video, we're going to take a look, or a deeper look, at the Duca Bike Adjustable Rear Sets. We've scoured the internet and YouTube, and there are very little to no video that shows you how to assemble the adjustable rear sets prior to installing them on your motorcycle. If it's your first time, you wanna have a nice guide. So this is what we're here to do, guys. Your takeaway from this video should be some tips and tricks on how to approach it and best practices. Keep that in mind. Please do not just follow the video blindly. This is a demonstration to show you how they go because Dukebyte does not have that kind of information out. would love to be the first to kind of show you how that's done, all right? Make sure you go through the manual in detail. So what I did personally, I made a copy of the left side of the bike and the right side of the bike and color coded on how everything goes, where they kind of attach together and come together to make one piece, like a transformer. Who doesn't like building transformers or Legos? Something to that nature. You're gonna wanna follow the torque specs for sure. Make sure you blue lock tight everything Duke Bike has included a blue Loctite for you without having to go buy one on the outside. That's pretty dope. In the instruction manual, it also show you which OEM part you're gonna have to reuse in the new installation. This is a demonstration on how the adjustable rear sets are supposed to go together. They are not being locked tight in the video. They are not being torqued down. I'm also not taking the OEM parts to put in there. I'm just showing you how they're gonna go together in the case of both the brake lever and the shift lever, some OEM washers will have to go in between. So make sure you go over the instructional manual over and over until you're comfortable with it before you start the task. All right, here we go. Here are all the parts that Duca Bike sent you for the adjustable rear sets. They gave you the manual, detail manual with torque specs that you can follow for each side. Each side, of the instructional manual is gonna show you one side of the bike and how to do it with all the torque specs. You can't mess this up if you follow it to the T. I'm gonna be doing a quick rough on how it would look like. The team at Motivation USA and I have scour YouTube to see if there are any Duca Bike rear set assembly because these are sent to you in pieces and then you have to assemble them so we thought it'd be a great idea to kind of show you guys how they all go together keep in mind i am not gonna lock tight anything because i'm just demonstrating how they gonna they go together this is the brake side of the bike and the opposite side of the paper is the gear shifter side all right now if you guys like you could probably follow this suggestion with which i thought would be great at least for me i did a copy of the actual manual and did a detail markup, kind of follow each line, note down all the torque specs, that way I know exactly where everything goes, and I can follow the flow of things with color-coded instruction. I did the same for the opposite side. I definitely recommend doing this prior to actually tackling on the task. The way this is shipped to you, it's almost like it's supposed to go to a dealership and they do it for you, a master mechanic. So be mindful, follow all the torque specs, uh, make sure you lube up all the parts that needs to be lubed. Not a lot of them needs to. And make sure you lock tight everything. They do include blue lock tight. Definitely recommend you do that because you will be putting a lot of wear, a lot of actuation on each foot. What's awesome with the instruction, they also included all the tools you're gonna need for you to actually complete this entire task. That is pretty dope. Not everybody does this. Let's knock this out real quick. There are some washers that you will take from your OEM setup to put on the uh, Duca bike rear set. I'm not gonna show you that here, but be mindful. And again, all I'm doing here is placing them, giving you a general idea of how these component do goes.
Again, guys, this is a demonstration on how this actually goes. Make sure you lock tight them and set the torque specs. I'm just showing you, this is a loose guy on how it actually gonna look by the time you are done. So right side is looking great. Duka bike also tells you exactly how the OEM is supposed to fit. The OEM fits a lot lower, more relaxed. If you're looking for that race uh, track day fit, it's a lot upper and push back. They do give you a, a diagram that shows you exactly how it's supposed to fit. If you'd like to go with the OEM without changing too much, all right? Gonna flip the same one here based on how it sits on your bike. This step, guys, I need you to be very careful with this, okay? In between this bolt and then the shift, the brake lever, okay? You're gonna take the OEM washers to apply between the actual rear set, front and in the back before finalizing it. This is a top view, guys. You're gonna take your OEM washer that comes in your OEM rear set. You're gonna place one here and then you're also gonna have another one on the inside of the actual rear lever here as well. This bolt's gonna go right through. In between these two components here, there would be OEM washers, okay? Now here we are. This is going to be a brake side, fully assembled. This is what it would look like. Really simple. All right, moving on, we're gonna show you how we do the other side. You're gonna start by grabbing the foot lever and removing the screw. And again, keep in mind, guys, this is a demonstration. You have to lock tight everything. You have to torque down everything. And there are some OEM components that must be transferred over. Since this is a demonstration, I am just showing you. So please keep that in mind. Use this as a loose guide to follow to get to where you need to be. There we are. Just like that, our foot lever is looking great. We're gonna move to the next step. This is the plate that's gonna go in the OEM slot. Based on the writing style that you're doing, what you intend to do, if you're doing track day or if you're going to basically ride with OEM style, Duke Bike does provide a diagram on what's the OEM setup. So if you wanna just do that, you can easily go back. And this is why we do these videos, guys, because like I said, there aren't any information that clearly convey these things. Please make sure everything is torqued down to the right torque spec. Okay. Now we're here, we're gonna quickly throw on the foot pegs. So far so good, this is what we look like. Now there was a secure zip tie here to keep the washer from coming out. You're gonna make sure everything is in there and then from there you're gonna place your new lever There we are. Now your shift lever is complete. And of course you do have to throw on the optional heel guard. They do come in carbon fiber. You can order that with motivationusa.com. 
the only place to shop for any of your premium parts and this is what it would look like and if you do not wish to get the carbon fiber one I don't know why you would want to do that you can throw in your OEM one this is the only feedback I have for Duke bike for this rear set at the incoming price point I do feel like at least a black hill guard should have been included the carbon fiber hill guard should have been optional so that's my only constructive feedback for Duke bike let's make that happen because this is beautiful looks amazing it comes in several colorways and all that's missing is that heel guard maybe in black CNC machine I'll be more than happy to actually see it in that color I'm gonna flip this over this is the shift side there are a few things I discovered while doing research to installing the rear sets and I spoke to the team and they clarify a few things so I came back because I truly care about the information that you guys receive here at MotivationUSA.com on our videos. This is the left side of your motorcycle. It's pre-assembled just to kind of show you, give you a general idea how it's gonna look like. Once I flip this over, for you to get standard shifting, you would have to mount your shifter rod to the upper one. Just for clarity, GP shifting goes below, standard shifting goes above, all right? Another thing we need to clarify and discuss is the six positions that's available for you to set your rear set in order for them to complement your riding style. So if you're a guy that likes to lean down, you want bigger degrees of leaning angles, you would go higher up and then further back, that way you have more of an arch in your leg. So the standard position is more of a 90 degree position of the OEM. These are where you get to change your position. So you have two connections here, six here and then six at the bottom. If you're going to mount your rear set to the furthest back and upper, you would basically use the longer extension for your shift rod. If you're going towards the front positioning, you would have to use the shorter extension for your shift rod. Just to give a little bit more clarity regarding the positioning and how you use those shift rods, again, it does factor if you're doing standard or GP shifting, you would need it to be a little bit longer. There's some fine tuning that goes into it. For the front three holes, above in front three holes at the bottom you would use a shorter extension for the front holes and more of a 90 degree bend on your knee you use a shorter one and for you to use the furthest back positionings you would use the longer shift extension and it would require some fine tunings just for some clarity so you guys are aware you know how these two works I kind of glaze over the brake switch and it's something that is very important. A lot of people tend to either completely eliminate it when they do their upgrade, but in this case, you do not have to eliminate it, okay? Duke bike included brake switch sensor that's mounted slightly different. The reason for the new brake switch, in the back of the OEM rear set, there's like a little latch where the brake switch is mounted on the back. So. Duke bike has completely eliminated that piece. Not too sure why, maybe it was a design thing, but it's not there anymore. This is why we have to use the new brake switch. It's as simple as that. This is what they would look like once they are assembled and put together. This is gonna be a shifter side, and this one is going to be your brake side. There are some OEM components that you will have to switch over. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll know when we upload. We always appreciate you watching. As recommended, use your parts purchase to support the store that support your sport. Motivation USA gives back to the riding community with everything from safety seminar courses and worldwide racing sponsorships. For the most trusted parts and accessories, shop motivationusa.com. All links will be in the description down below. And remember, ride safe and ride often.